Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this one, I want to talk about The Sims and what it means to be a real open world game. I may have talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it today. So, I've recently gotten back into The Sims. I have my own kind of personal Sims family. And I also have one that I live stream on DLive, right, as my Sims family. And... What I've noticed about The Sims, okay, so I have, I had this problem as a gamer, right? It's a gamer problem, where I would take an open world game and play it the same every time. Like Skyrim, what I would do would was I'd get through the tutorial, become the Thane of Whiterun every time, and then, like, the adventure would finally begin, right? And I'd never try to be, like, a criminal. I would always level up the same skills, that kind of stuff. Always, you know, it was, ugh, that's kind of how I, that's one of the things that made Skyrim boring to me, same with Oblivion. But now, I'm trying different things. So, like The Sims, is very much more open world than I ever thought it was possible. Like, I understand that The Sims, there's really nothing holding you back from doing anything. You don't even lose if your Sim dies, you just make more Sims, right? So... I have these Sims, and I'm giving them their own dynamic personalities, and I'm realizing, like, I still kind of play the Sims the same way, where um, I just, like, grind up the skills of the Sims and then make them work their butts off at their job. And, you know, it was like, as an esports gamer in The Sims 4, this is what's interesting to me. As an esports gamer in The Sims 4, or a painter, or a writer, right? What those three jobs do, which is like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to make those. Those are usually like my three job picks, right? What all of them have in common is you can't really make your Sims stop working. Because after you become a gamer, you can go into game tournaments. You can live stream. If you're a painter, you just keep painting, right? If you're a writer, you just keep writing, and it kind of put me in this box of like having a sim that works all the time. And then what I did was I was like, okay, let's make this family where like this, this lady's a gardener, this guy's a bartender, and they had a kid. And then I added in a roommate where his thing was like the renaissance sim. So he had to flip flop from jobs and grind up different skills. And I noticed that, like, I never really played a game with four sims. And I noticed with four sims, I couldn't control my sims' actions as much. And that kind of broke the mold for me, where I was like, oh, I, they, they're not going to die on their own, right? And then I noticed how open world the sims gets and how dynamic it gets. Where, like, a sim, like, my renaissance sim, well, his name is Frederick. He'd like play video games, then he'd just keep playing video games and grind up his video game skill on his own, right? Cook things on his own. And I noticed that just because it's like The Sims 4 especially does some things really well. And I noticed that these Sims in The Sims 4 are always improving anyway. So then I noticed it's a real open world from this alone. I don't know why I noticed it, but then I noticed I can make my Sims do whatever right? There's ways, there's ways to make it so they don't age up. There's ways to make it so they do age up. And I realized that an open world game, you make your own goals, right? That's what The Sims 4 kind of reminded me of, was that it's a real open world game, you got to make your own goals. And it's not like, you don't even have to make your Sims have their lifetime goals, and then, like, that's all you do right? You don't have to always make them go to the life goals. So it's it quite interesting to me. And I noticed that just, I could change it whenever I wanted and that there wasn't a, like I kept having this thing in mind where I always had to make my Sims like a grade A student and that. And I realized I'm like, no, you don't have to do that. And so it was just interesting. The Sims is a real open world game because you make your own goals, and you make it as fun or as boring as you want, right? Like, to me, playing the game the same way every time 
boring. Right? Like, it's boring. So then I tried it again, and I played it a completely different way. And it wasn't boring. So that's all I really have to say. Um, something I noticed, really, that made The Sims like a real open world where there's no set goals, right? So, yeah. Um, that's really it for this video. I, I had no script for this. I just made this video. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on video games. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you next episode of Streamer Vlog of whatever I said to make.